Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you how you can organize your folders and notes in the left sidebar, means all the notes which are not uh, attached to a specific date, so all your project notes and uh, Zettelkasten notes if you use that system. Um, because if you exceed a certain number of notes, like 10, 20, 30, um, it becomes really hard to keep an overview of everything and you don't know where to put what and it's hard to find things later. So I, then you need an actual system where you know where things go. So um, there are two or three systems which you can combine and but in general I always recommend to keep your root folder very short so you can see the full sidebar and it doesn't exceed uh, overflow the bottom here. Um, so the first system is Johnny Decimal uh, how I use it is I just prepend a number before the folder and also sometimes in front of the node, the node name. So this has the advantage that you can then sort it by the title under view and then sort notes by and then you select title. And then the folders or the notes which have a lower number will appear at the top obviously. So then you have a nice visual overview and you can control the sorting. And um, you can also use this system across other apps. You can use the same numbering system in other, um, like in, in a to-do app <clears throat> or in an email or documentation or something. I don't do this. I just use it mainly in NodePlan just to have a uh, nice sorting and uh, yeah, categorization, basically. And um, the second system is the para method. Para means projects, areas, resources, and archives. And um, there are more resources which you can read on both systems. Here I have a short uh, summary of it. So projects are things which are, for me, which are current and I'm, I'm working on them right now. Um, these are often features which are very, um, which I'm working right now, where I collect feedback, like improvements for, for the public notes um, or for the search and command bar features. And I, I try to keep the projects folder short it doesn't work all, all the time but these are notes which I need to access frequently which I need right now so here are some examples like complete uh, app mockup develop project plan execute business project a uh, business development campaign and so on and uh, they're linked to a goal uh, with a deadline in my case they don't have a deadline and then the next one is areas and areas are uh, areas of responsibility or sphere of activity with a standard to be maintained over time, like health, fitness, professional development, and so on. Um, I have the dev development of the app, strategy, freelancers, business. For me, these are like roadmaps and long-term plans, which I access sometimes, but not very fre frequently. Just when I finish like a sprint, like after two months, I need to look into the, one of the roadmaps and check what's coming up next, for example. And the next area is resources. And resources are like a topic or theme of ongoing interest, like habit formation, project management, coffee, music, gardening, and so on. And for me, this is this is the place where I keep my Zettelkasten notes. Zettelkasten notes are very short notes um, which, which are connected to each other. And uh, for example, when I read a book, I write and I find an interesting idea. I write one of those uh, atomic notes and I usually connect it to an existing note which has a similar topic. Or um, I also use it for uh, documenting features and I've sorted it uh, or I created some, um, some general folders here, just numbers. And in those numbered folders I have like the time block feature, autosync, um, print timers. This is like the, a folder just where I collect ideas for time blocks, for example. And I also have um, like meeting notes here, which I don't need at the moment, but which I want to reference later. And finally, there's the archive. And in the archive are inactive items from, other, from the other three categories. For me, these are finished projects. When I've implemented a feature, I move it to the archive. Or these are old change logs, which I don't need anymore, uh, or old roadmaps. And yeah, this is where the archived notes live in my system. Yeah, that's all. And um, I hope this was helpful and I see you next time.